On this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a Spatsy library package called um, uh, Honeypot. So Honeypot is um, a package that will allow you to uh, stop uh, having form submission, submissions when they are done by a spam bot on your website. So I have here an example that can uh, translate this. Uh, I created here a contact us form and here we are going to see that this package in, in action. So uh, I have here two buttons, one to submit the form and another one to, that will simulate a spam bot uh, form field. So let's go to the um, to the package itself. So I'm going to write here github spatty honeypot and we can see here all the information about it, how you can use it, install it uh, and also some customizations that you can do. So let's install first the package. I'm just going to copy paste the code here um, to install the library. Just give it a couple of seconds. There we go. And it's installed. Just uh, generating the auto load again. Here we go. Good. So the next step is if you want to use this package, you can also optionally publish the configuration file. Let's do this because there are some, some attributes there that I want to show to you. So I'm just going to, again, copy paste, go back to our Laravel project here. And by the way, this is a, a blank Laravel uh, 5.7 project. And here there is this honeypot.php. So we have some fields here, some configuration attributes. So in this case, the first one is the name of the honeypot field. So the honeypot field is going to be a hidden field that if it's filled in, in this case by a spam bot, uh, the form will is not going to um, be submitted in case you are using, of course, the, the middleware that comes with the Honeypot library. We are going to see that in a couple of minutes. Uh, so if that, that hidden field is filled in, then uh, it will not actually um, continue the operation. And here you can also randomize that field name. This is important because uh, this actually was a head on on the, um, on the new version of this library because Sometimes the, the spam bots, they learn. So they can learn that you uh, you have a field and somehow uh, the next time the, the spam bot is not going to fill that field because he learned that if he fills that field, that hidden field, uh, the form is not going to be submitted. So with this randomization, we can with this field that can be randomized, the spam bot will never actually figure out um, this, uh, this logic behind it. So you can put it true or false. Uh, we are going to put it on false just to make some tests and then I'm going to put it on true for you to see the difference. Then valid from field, it's actually to be used, as it says here on the comments, uh, to verify if the form was not submitted too quickly. So this is an encrypted field value that will actually have a kind of a timestamp and it will compare with this number of seconds that you have here. So if it's faster than one second by default here, it will actually be considered a spam bot uh, data that is being introduced because maybe on your web form, a human cannot uh, add data there, it cannot fill the form in, in less than one second. And then finally, you have this respond to spam with. This is, um, in this case, a, a class that implements interface spam responder and has a method called respond, uh, as you can see here. And, and it basically will just, uh, you know, show the content that you want to show in case it's a spam. And we are, we're just going to do a small test here too. And then the last parameter is if you want to enable this or not. So how do you use it actually on, on your form? Uh, you need to do two little things. One is to actually use a blade directive that comes with the package. Uh, as you can see, this is the blade directive called Honeypot. So I'm just going to my form and I'm going to add it. So my form by default, it's just a simple form and then I go here to my contacts and besides the uh, CSRF blade directory for the uh, for the validation of the um, of the cross-reference data I also had this honeypot uh, directive here so if you can see now I do a view source and you'll see that I have just the token and then I'm going to do an F5 right now and you see that it adds more information here. These are the hidden fields. It's placed inside a div because we need to uh, hide those fields. And then because I'm using the randomization, it actually creates here this, this code, as you can see here, as, as a suffix of the 
of the of the file and as you do an F5 again it changes that one so if I go here to the honeypot and I say false it will remove and I, I want the field to be called honeypot I'm going to say why I'm putting this here because of my um, spam bot to work on so I'm going to do an F5 and as you can see now it says honeypot and it it has an underscore wrap on the div that it's there and that is valid from is actually a, that time step that is encrypted so don't, don't, don't worry about this so if you're using a spam bot here as I am uh, when I click this spam bot form fill I'm filling up the form but also this honeypot so uh, it, again it's just a simulation if you go back to this contact uh, here on the bottom I say uh, I'm using jQuery just to fill it up so I say honeypot oops I feel this one too okay so you can see like I'm simulating um, in this case a spam bot so I'm going to do an F5 again and I'm going to do uh, just a, a normal submission so I'm just going to put here like my name and uh, whatever email you want to put it and then test one and if you do a submit contact form you'll see that it says form submitted with success again it's just a, a controller that I'm using uh, I'm just going to show to you uh, I'm just validating the data uh, just to show some messages as you saw before and then I just say form submitted with success so what happens now if we are using a spam bot so I'm going to go back and here I'm going to do a spam bot form field I'm going to click here and then I will click here on the submit contact form so for at this moment you're going to see that it still submits there you go big why because I'm not using the middleware that comes with the package so in order for you to for the for the for your web application to verify the form data you need to actually use this protect against spam middleware so let me just copy paste it to the middleware kernel kernel uh, here on the uh, HTTP middleware um, sorry kernel here and just like it says on the um, on the readme file and in this case now I will do another test so I'm going to do spam bot form film and I'm going to do submit contact form and it goes to a blank page this is the moment that your library package is honeypot is working let's just check it out again on the on the interface so if we go here to the config honeypot and then this blank page responder I'm just going to write here hey you are a spam bot get away <laughs> just as a as a test now I'm going to save it then I go back again I do spam bot fill I do submit and you say hey you are a spam bot get away now if I go back here and I just fill down with uh, again my information whatever as you can see it submits the form so very easy to use the, the library very simple very effective actually uh, and uh, what else do we have here let's, let's check it out it says you can disable it so it's just enable on this case in case customize the response this is exactly what we just made a test but of course you can implement your your own class on on this case and even if you see that there is some logic that you really want to continue you just need to put on your spam responder the next and then it will move on uh, it will override the, the decision about stopping your your, um, your request. Uh, finally, there is here the part that you can customize the output. So in this case, let me just uh, publish the, the views, the resource views. So I'm just going to come back here and do, so we can see what appears on the resources. Uh, in this case, uh, refresh. Uh, um, and it should place here. Uh, hold on. Vendor publish. And I'm going to donate. Okay. Resources views vendor. Resources views vendor. Honeypot. So here you go. So as you can see, you can actually um, change these in case you want to um, put another kind of fields there so and then finally it says there is an event that is fired that you can capture it with a listener there is a spam detected so if you go back here to the to the file uh, protect against spam to the class here that is created you'll see here that it uses the respond to spam 
and here you have event new spam detected and it passes as a public attribute the uh, the request that actually came up so you can do whatever you want there so it's again very useful for you to um, to use this library so that's it uh, again it's a very simple library but it's extremely effective I strongly recommend just like the other one that uh, Spatsy also have in terms of security that is the the content security package the Laravel CSP uh, I also uh, strongly advise you and recommend you to use this uh, package and of course um, feel free to uh, um, propose some some uh, some improvements to the to the Spatsy if it's if you see it, that it's worth of it thank you very much see you again bye bye